have found our way to Chester. And uh, our introduction to the town, we're walking in and the great little canal boats, the skinny, narrow canal boats greeting us. Really very sweet. So we're gonna take some time and explore Chester the rest of this day. Why don't you come along? This is, this is what you call an idyllic scene. Ducks, canal boats. Ah. <laughs> and the wall, we're going up on the wall here in a little bit. standing at Eastgate. This gate, not the clock itself because it's only been here since 1897, but this gate has been around for 2,000 years. I mean, it's just, picture that. 2,000 years this gate has been standing there. These are just some of the ruins that have been found around the city. And they've made a garden from different parts of the Roman structures that were here. This is really pretty cool. Currently, I'm in the center of the Chester Amphitheater, which, by the way, means double theater. I never knew that. Hey, this was the largest amphitheater in England, and it really represented kind of the supremacy of the Roman Empire. Hey, right down here with the gladiators, Arnoldus Maximus. Hey, this is Arnoldus Maximus. We've just made it through the Diwa Roman experience. Hey, for a couple of pounds, it's a fun thing and it's informative too. There's lots of good stuff. It's not a big exhibit, but I recommend coming. What do you think? Absolutely. Yep, she agrees. So one of the things you'll notice when you're here in Chester is a huge part of the downtown. There's like one big shopping mall. There are so many, so many shops here of all kinds, many repeating. It's really a commercial hub here. It's fun, but we're not big shoppers, so we're not spending much time in them. You know, and in addition to places to shop, there's just tons of restaurants of all kinds. family helped build this place, so we couldn't pass it by, could we? <laughs> 